Hello. Right, you've probably heard or seen from the video description that this is a van conversion project. This is episode one. I'm converting a Ford Transit Connect 2014 plate. So, let's check the van out. Oh no. <laughs> right, so at the minute, we've got all this racking to take out so i don't know if we'll get that done today but we're going to start a crack at it but the first thing we are going to do is we've got some wind deflectors ordered so we're going to fit those first they basically just run the lip of that there and i'm basically going to use that as the main device of um ventilation for the van um i'm going to see how i get on with that all i'm going to do is just basically sleeping overnight in it leave them cracked it stops the rain getting in um and see how we get on with that to start off with if it becomes a problem, I'll get a roof fan fitted and that'll either suck or blow air. I'm gonna start staring at that rather than at the screen on the side, cause that's rude. Here's number one. That basically fits on like this. See, that's cool, isn't it? First thing we need to do is get the window down. Hi. Oh, right, let's get these wind deflectors on. So, I um, had these before, I fitted them before on my... Uh, I used to have a Fiesta, um, so I fitted them on those. I know, what a boy racer, right? Um, so, that can't really be any different. So I'm just gonna see how it goes. You can sometimes crack them and like snap them if you're like trying to fit them in dodgy. So I'm just going to make sure they all line up first before I take like these little, got like little self adhesive sticks on, like stickers that like put it in place. And then afterwards you put like these little clips in up underneath that just stay there and keep it rigid. That's supposed to go in like that. And then. Oh, it's gonna be easy. Easy peasy, lemon peeled off. So they're now sticky, so I need to try and not touch out with them. Would you look at that? Well snazzy. Now you've got, there's a wing mirror there. Now you've got like these little um, snazzy bits that you tuck up underneath just to like keep it in super hyper place when you're doing massive speeds on the motorway. It gives you instructions, but we don't need these. There we are. It's like these little things. And they just fit between, like, wait a minute, was I supposed to put these in? No, no, <laughs> I thought I was supposed to put them first then. They basically just, like, clip up the back of them. Uh, it's fairly self-explanatory if you read the instructions. If you want to see the instructions, I'm going to put them on screen now. I'm not technical en enough to know how to do it, so there you go. Self-explanatory. Let's give it a go. I had to go and get a screwdriver. Um, these just, I'm basically you need a screwdriver through this just to prod them up. Like that, between the lip and the, uh, and the rubber. All I'm gonna do now is the other side. I won't show you that, because I'll just show you how to do that, and that's just sucking eggs. So uh, all I've done the other side is use some oil, it's like WD-40 sort of stuff, just with a thin nozzle and I'm just going to go on the gap on the inside here 
where the window runs against the plastic because it's not used to it obviously. So just gonna do that to loosen it up. That does go up a lot quicker now. Anything is I lost the nozzle down my door wing. <laughs> Job number two. I've got a new seat to put in it because, well, I wanted an armrest for those distant journeys to far lands. Also, you can go up and down. And I wanted that rather than standard seat. Let's put it in. I was saying then it's just got the added armrest and you can go up and down as you can see here with the seat we've got her in there already you can't go up and down and it's got no armrest so we want that really um, but we've got a tray on this one so we're going to use this tray and put it on there I've already checked it out and it clips on with this little clip here and there's one at the back back there so I'm just going to uh, take that off now and put it onto the other one and then we'll put the seat in Sweet. Right, let's get this out. Oh. All it is is two little like crocodile clips. There we go. That's one out. And that's the second one out. So that should just pull out now. Let's have a go. I've just tried and because it's wedged between that, we're going to have to wait until um, I've taken the seat out and then do it. All it is, is a torque setting. Don't know what size. Um, and there's just four bolts, one down here. Basically one on each corner of the seat. So I'm gonna whip those out now, and then whip the seat out. Right, that's three bolts out. I've just gotta do that back left one now. But I'm just gonna bring the seat forward, um, just so I can get into the bolt, because it's a bit of a oh, awkward place down there. That's all four bolts out. There's just one more thing to do, which is like, is an electrical, I think it's to do with like the uh, seat belt sensor. It's like this part here. So I've just got to take that out now and then I'll um, refit it on there. So I'm going to move this out of the way. And let's get this one out. Sorted. It's out, which can it take that side thing off, bit of brush out, and uh, put this on the new seat. Let's now get this one back in. The armrest is just going to be like a lifesaver on long journeys just because like you're there, you got your arm on it, you just straight onto the, you don't even have to move, which makes life easy. I'll show you what it looks like now with the wind deflectors on as well. Deflectors, deflectors, the deflectors. So there's your cockpit, you're cool, you got your armrest, and straight on the shifter there. Then you can just see your wind deflectors on the inside here. To that side as well which brings it all in a little bit it's quite a big cab um so it brings it all in i'm gonna put a wind deflector as well wind deflector i just said that i'm gonna put a uh sun strip up there as well just to bring it all in a bit more but yeah feels good so far let's have a kick about in the back then and see if we can get the uh the bulkhead gone 
um, as well as the well before we get the bulkhead out, we've got to uh, we've got to get rid of the all the like tool storage in the back. I'll show you that now. Come on, let's have a look. This is the side door. So as you can see in there, you've got all this tool storage. That's just it's like big shelving racks and that sort of thing. Um, and that's all just got to be dragged out. So basically. All this stuff's got to come out. I don't know where to start, but let's have a look. I've just figured it out. There's like a little clip either side here. And you just have to like pop them in. And then you can bring these fully out. Then once, once this is out, I'm guessing you just unbolt the base. So, I've just taken all the racks out and they're whoa, all there now. One, two, three, four, sweet. So, um, all there is now is there's like two layers, one there and one, one at the back. They've all got, each got four bolts in for each section. So there's 24 bolts we've got to take out. And then this whole structure here should just pop out minus slashing. The silicon that runs across here. And after that, it should pop out. Sam! Now's the tricky bit, because I've got to get right the back way back there. Um, I've done these front ones, uh, but there's another bar with four bolts on each side, all the way back there, so I need to uh, go in and uh, do that. See you in a sec. So that is that finally out. That's how we're looking now. Happy days. I've just levered it out as well. So that's just looking now about it. I'm just gonna take this bulkhead out now. Which just seems to be screws, well bolts going all the way up and around. I've just taken all the bolts out of the bulkhead. These were fine, this side. Um, that side was a little bit harder. But these bastards in the cab, I've had to basically pull the roof lining out. Um, pull the roof lining out and then all up here and pull this all back and then try and get these top ones out. They were a bastard. Because I'm literally like, let me out like this, try and be like, Ugh. oh shit, the bear that scared the crap out of me. But yeah, that, that wasn't a comfortable job. Um, right, I'm just pushing these seats forward now. Uh, I'm going to see if I can sort of like kick the bulkhead through into the cab uh, and try and get it off that way. I'll let you know how it goes. Let's see if we can do this. Down. No. Back of the bulkhead. I don't know if. Oh, wait, this won't work. This totally won't work. It's all those. Yeah, this really isn't going to work. Uh, I need to kick it from that side. That's not going to work either. How do I get this bastard out? Right, I've realised that the bulkhead is, is. There's basically another couple more bolts under this wood panel here, so the flooring. So now I've got to take the flooring out. I've taken the relevant bolts out, so I'm hoping ah, that this should pop up, this panel now. No. <laughs> oh well. Right, so I've tried that. Um, that's basically that done. I'm done for today now. Um, I've run out of time really. So I'm gonna crack on tomorrow with it. Um, but these boards here, basically, I was wondering why I couldn't get them up and I've taken the main bolts out, which there was like six of these, like a mix of like top heads there and uh, Allen keys that sit flush. Um, so I wonder why it wouldn't come out with that. 
so it, 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 it wasn't coming out. Um, so basically tomorrow I'm going to bring down um, a decent Stanley blade and cut all these, cut all these uh, really thick um, bits of silicon around the sides. That should pry it up a bit. And what I've just realised in trying to pry bar the board up a bit um, is that these rivets here that are holding like the end boards on. They're actually riveted down into the into the base of the van, so they're gonna need drilling out, and then I should be able to pry it up. Might not need. To, I'm gonna slice through the uh, through the silicon anyway, but it should come up easy once these are out, because they're just a bugger. One, two, three, four, five, and then there's three on that bar down there, so it should come up easier once that's done. Um, yeah, so that's a tomorrow job. Uh, and then I've kept this piece of cardboard that the um, wind deflectors came in because I'm going to use that up there in the cabin, in the cab even, um, to basically make the above head shelf deeper so it goes back into the back. That's just going to be clove storage. Um, so I'm going to use that cardboard as a cut out template to then use a jigsaw to use some ply line to make that um, and once we've got this floor out tomorrow so basically the plans for tomorrow's video will be get the floor out remove these plastic side trims that I've got on it here can't really see with that door not open and then basically remove the bulkhead um, and then that'll be out anything from there really ah and also see these boards that are on at the minute they're like you know the for sale sign boards that you get outside your house when you're selling your house? That material, the crap. Like I put my screwdriver through them like loads of times there earlier because they're really thin. Uh, so they're coming out, they're just riveted on, so I'll drill those rivets out as well. Um, and yeah, we should be alright with that. Anything else to add? I'm going to keep that. You see that there? There. It's a little time point, I'm going to keep that uh, tomorrow as well if we get a chance. That board's the right size for what we're keeping, so we'll end up um, taking that out, keeping the size of it, and basically sketching onto some ply board, cutting it out from there with a the jigsaw. All right, so cheers for watching so far. I'll catch you tomorrow. I'll put this edit, uh, uh, edit together tonight, and uh, then we'll see you then. Thanks for watching.